Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, sun, moon and rising from the 13th to the 19th of July 2020. I hope you're well Aries. So let's get straight into your reading. This is the Tarot Grand Lux by Marchetti. I'm going to pull an overarching message or energy for you for the week. So what do we have Angel Spirits Guide? What is the message? The overarching theme okay seven of wands I mean I quite like the energy of this this card normally but let's see what else we get Aries so this is the energy deck by Sandra Ann Taylor and I'll be using the angel answer cards by Doreen Virtue okay so what do we have angel spirits guides what is the message? Okay. Anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. Wow, Aries, we have deceit. It has to do with what this is. You know, the cards are what they are, so let's see what else we get. Angels, what is the message for our lovely Aries, please? 13th to the 19th. We have reconsider and big happy changes. You know, I feel it's by your own will. <laughs> There's a kind of will that I'm feeling here, an iron will. Okay, so I'll be using the Marchetti decks, really like the illustrations. Um, so this is the Tarot Royale, and I'll be clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. And then we'll be pulling a fairy card, a fairy oracle card at the end of the reading. So what is the message for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What is the message that Aries needs to hear, 13th to the 19th of July 2020? What is the message Aries needs to hear? I'll do one more shuffle. Okay. So I pull four cards, Aries. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards to go deeper into the message. It won't resonate for everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries. Thank you. Oh, okay. Quite a few. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. It's interesting. Some of these cards I had for Sagittarius here. Six of Pentacles. Page of Wands. King of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we'll go through those a little bit quickly, briefly. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Interesting. Yeah, this is your challenge. Nine of Pentacles is the advice from Spirit. And the Page of Cups is your outcome. Okay, Aries. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries. Four of Pentacles was bottom of the deck here. But I, I kind of feel, Aries, we have enough cards here to tell the story. Okay. So we have the Five of Coins. Nine of Pentacles again, your challenge and also the advice from Spirit. Page of Wands clarifies the Nine of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups clarifies the Death card. It's clarified by the Death card. Bottom of the deck we have the Three of Swords.
So Aries, you know, there's a lot of pentacles energy here. So I'm feeling your focus is in terms of your money and career here. This deceit, this anxiety, it could have been in a relationship because I do have the death card with the page of cups here. It could have also been to do with, obviously, um, any form of relationship. So it could be a workplace relationship, it could be to do with your home, your family, your personal relationship, friendships, whatever this is. Um, the Seven of Wands, I do like this energy because it's the iron will, the determination, the perseverance to overcome a challenge. And it's fire, you know, this is fire energy, it's Leo energy, it is the brave heart energy of even though there's six people waving their wands against this one person, this person is on higher ground and they are overcoming the challenge by their sheer force of will, determination and power. When you're in your power you can overcome anything, that's what the seven of wands represents. But obviously some people are daunted by six against one, sometimes people are quite happy to allow the external environment to really dictate their own internal energy but not here this is very much somebody who is connecting to their inner power and they are overcoming the external problem challenge that they face so I do feel this is you are getting the advantage you are getting higher ground you are getting on top of a situation that has been a challenge here because for some of you you know you are I mean, these messages, Aries, we have anxiety and deceit. So I feel this is someone's actions towards you caused you upset. You know, someone may have deceived you. This could be the challenge that you're overcoming as well. Deception. Somebody not being who they say they were or somebody having their hidden agenda. Somebody putting themselves first at your disadvantage. You know, all of this kind of thing I feel and there has been anxiety, worry, upset about this, about someone's actions towards you here. I feel you've been let down, Aries, I do. But the good thing is I do feel your sheer force of nature is getting on top of the situation here. There's a message here, it's funny, when this card came out, the card of Reconsider, for me it's your alliances, who you align yourself with now. Um, because for some of you, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is sometimes seen as a solitary card, whether this person has been in a relationship or not, and obviously it can sometimes represent people still in relationships, but I certainly feel in this energy, this is you focusing on how you bring greater value, security, stability and success to your life, your money, career front, everything that's going to bring you value, stability and security in your conscious reality now is what you're interested in. And for some of you, it is about reconsidering. You're reconsidering your alliances because someone's deceived you. Somebody wasn't what they thought, what, who you thought they were. And I feel it's caused you a certain amount of upset. And it's been a challenge to overcome this. But the good thing is, that Seven of Wands is an energy of you are overcoming the challenge. You are bringing big, happy changes ahead. It's just such a wonderful energy of by this sheer force of determination will perseverance you will overcome this so powerful energy here and I feel it's to do with your money and finances in particular sorry Aries somebody was at the door <laughs> okay so let's get into these cards because I do feel that things are shifting for you we have the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Pentacles here. So I certainly feel for some of you, there is a change of fortune coming your way. And I feel it's to do with your money and career in particular. The King of Pentacles is somebody who understands how to bring security, safety, stability into his life. In every area of his life, whether it's relationships, whether it's to do with home, family, whether it's to do with his money and career. In terms of money and career, he understands how to be successful, how to make money, how to not only make it but sustain it. And that I feel for some of you, this is just... I think there is a shift coming in terms of your your finances, your money aspect, your career aspect as well. 
because the message is if you take action towards and you know the page of wands can be good news as well some good news coming your way the knight of pentacles can be an offer an opportunity could be to do with getting you back to where this king of pentacles is and um, yeah like i said somebody could make you an offer in terms of your money and career this is about being careful of where you place your energy here with the Six of Pentacles because there's a message it's your time to receive here and now is the time to take action towards a new path now is the time to put your energy your effort your passion your drive into what excites you what drives you what opportunity you want to come your way because the page of wands is a card of good news is available to you now but you need to be open to receiving the Pentacles energy for me is very much linked to the law of attraction what you put into something is what you get back um, from, the, from the universe. So if you put out negative energy, you will get that back. If you put out positive, constructive energy, no matter how difficult, no matter how challenging, you will get that back. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. You will get what you need if you approach things in the right way. And I do feel you are. You are getting on top of a situation. And the Knight of Pentacles is about getting back on track. It is about doing the hard work, the effort, putting your energies into what lights you, what fires you up, what energizes you. Um, there's an element of the mundane with the Knight of Pentacles, but there's a message here of, even though you might have been waiting a little bit, there is the opportunity coming your way. The opportunity, the offer, the message is coming your way. So it's a lovely, lovely energy here, Aries. And I feel for some of you, the Five of Pentacles is, again, just watch your energy. Because this can be the self-fulfilling prophecy of lack. If you feel lack, if you allow negativity to own you, if there's a defeatist, which I, I, I don't really feel about you, but if you do allow things, I mean, obviously, everyone's only human. If you allow things to get on top of you and you put out the negative energy here, you only get the lack back from the universe. So very much with that Six of Pentacles, you get what you need when you do the positive, constructive, practical things. You have all the skills, experience, knowledge, know-how to really bring this change of fortune. I feel it's in your money and career front in particular. It's a lovely, lovely energy. So your challenge, Aries, is change comes, positive change comes when you take action. When you take action with that page of wands and go for what you want to make happen now and take the reins of your life and charge ahead and go for it, that's when you start understanding how to bring success, greater value, stability, security into your life. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of, of luxury. It's a card of hard work being rewarded. Um, this person has earned every single one of those pentacles that is displayed there. They have transformed, you see the butterfly, they have transformed their fortunes by sheer hard work, determination, by perseverance and charging ahead, not looking back by getting back on the horse, taking the reins of their life and charging ahead. So whatever this deceit, anxiety, this challenge has been, Aries, big message is don't let it make you feel lack. I know it's difficult, but your energy is really important because if you really, this is the worker energy as well. The pentacles is the hard work, the patience, the perseverance, the practical skills, knowledge, experience applying yourself and the, the one's energy is the fire, the fire energy the excitement the passion the drive the go-getting energy that really makes it happen it's almost kind of like the challenge is you for you to be this knight of wands for you to charge your head now and make it happen you know knight of pentacles knight of wands the worker knights making it happen by sheer will force determination yeah towards bringing greater abundance into your life so it's a beautiful beautiful energy and again we have this page of wands i feel for some of you if you have to do uh connect to new people go for interviews um have conversations to do with opportunities 
if you have some inspiration on starting up a new business venture, if you are um, you know, connecting to recruitment agents or doing the thing that you want to do to bring a new job or uh, a new business venture off the ground or uh, I mean you kind of get what I'm saying the page of wands is good news you know you can make this happen it is the first step towards this new beginning towards this new opportunity but I do feel for some of you it's very similar to Sagittarian energy here of, of good news coming your way of really by the sheer force of will determination you are making it happen and again it's in the nine of pentacles energy it's a beautiful energy of success success in your own right you understanding that you've connected to your own internal abilities to bring positive change into your external environment this is somebody who understands their own value their worth their own capability from within that when they apply their internal knowledge experience know-how in their external environment they literally align with their true value from within it's the Virgo energy, it's the Hermit energy and the Hermit is very much about finding answers from within in how you need to take action in your external environment it's a card of aligning your internal energy to what you're capable of in your external environment so it's a beautiful beautiful energy of fulfilling your potential I feel for some of you Aries you know with this page of cups here like I said you could have been hurt by somebody who you cared about you're emotionally connected to um, you know that could be a friend family relationship somebody you got on well with at work or somebody that you trusted at work you know I feel the three of swords is a card of betrayal it's a card of difficult truths coming to light um, it's a card of hurts. I mean, this can be the heartbreak card. It can also be the card of, of levels of hurt, levels of being let down, levels of, uh, yeah, I, I just feel for some of you, whatever this was, this is exposed to the elements. And when a wound is exposed to the elements, it starts to heal. And when a scar heals, it becomes twice as strong. And I feel for some of you, there is, and I, and I kind of feel this is an opportunity here because we're getting pages all over the place here. So I feel for some of you, there is a new opportunity that will bring you joy, happiness, things will start looking up here. But you need to allow endings to happen of whatever this Three of Swords was. You need to shed an old skin here. The Phoenix, this is the Phoenix Rising card of Scorpio, and the Phoenix rises by actively destroying the old it destroys the old in order to bring the transformation of the new in I mean it's the transformational energy of now is the time to rise in your light now is the time to allow endings to happen draw a line under it put it behind you it's time to move forward Knight of Wands energy Knight of Wands energy is a new adventure you know taking the first few steps of whatever this page of wands represented towards a new new adventure a new opportunity a new goal a new vision a new passion I do feel for some of you that yeah it's a beautiful beautiful energy here of I do feel things are turning in your favor I feel it's very much to do with your money and career front here I feel you've been challenged and I don't know if, I, I kind of feel for some of you it would have been on the relationship front and you might be focusing on your money and career for some of you you might have been challenged on somebody who may have let you down in the money and career front and there was an ending here but I do feel now is the time to rise in your light you are the Phoenix rising that is the death card it is out with the old in with the new and I feel you're liberating from whatever this was the death card is liberation to come back and stand in your own value and your own success and that's what this challenge is to overcome anything that is stopping you from getting to this and all the while you are being guided by spirit as represented by the bird <laughs> it's a beautiful energy so I'm going to get some advice cards on 
Oh, it's interesting. You know, even at the bottom of the deck, Aries, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So there is something about you fulfilling your potential. You're going to get on top of a situation. And this is about you getting on... Yeah, you fulfilling your potential. I feel it's to do with money and career here. There may be some healing that's been going on here as well. But I just feel that what you've been doing, Gary, is as long as you don't allow it to get on top of you, which is difficult, I know. Knight of Pentacles is somebody who will work through a situation. They just work through it. They don't stop, they work through it. And that's when big, happy changes come for you. And that Jupiterian energy of the Wheel of Fortune, expansion, good luck, good fortune, um, prosperity, growth, it's very, very good. Yeah, again, we've got Ten of Swords energy. There's a new day, a new dawn rising here. Some of you have been deeply hurt by this Three of Swords, this Ten of Swords. But it's saying whatever this Three of Swords represented is over. It's a ten. It's a completion. It's time to embrace the new. And that's very much what the Death card is telling you here. Yeah. And again, I'm just getting... Yeah, it's your time to receive. It's very similar to the Sagittarian energy. Uh, some of you could have been dealing with the Sagittarius in whatever context um, but yeah this is about what you put into something is what you get back six of pentacles it's the second time it's appearing Aries it's your time to receive and I feel for some of you it's to do with this nine of pentacles uh, greater growth career yeah reward material success you know I've got the knight of wands again <laughs> could be an offer or an opportunity coming your way that is giving you more money, more security, more stability as well. Um, like I said, I feel for some of you, it's been a challenge and I feel some of you have been going through a difficult time in terms of money career in particular. But I do feel you are getting back on track now, back on top. Yeah, back on top because that is the nine of pentacles. You're just making it happen. It's a beautiful energy. Okay, what is the final message for Aries, please? Final message for Aries, please. We have moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. <laughs> and that's for everybody, isn't it? That's for all of us. Okay, final message for Aries, please. Oh yeah, lovely. We have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too, and you are being blessed. This is the time, this is the universe saying it's your time to receive. But be careful where you place your energy. And I feel it's if you do it in a constructive way, that's when you start bringing positive change. And now I've got a three, three nights here, which is about big positive change. Uh, the Knights in Tarot are cards of change. And it's interesting, Aries, that ties in with this, <laughs> which is the challenge that you're overcoming, that you're getting on top of. Yeah, you're bringing positive changes, big, happy changes. I love the energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.